All right, now I think I'll go ahead and go into a machine that I know I should work with SSH and give you guys a good example of it. So this time I'm about changing it up by going to Debian distribution this time with DSL Linux, although technically <laughs> it's still, you know, it says Debian, you know what I'm saying though, blah, Ubuntu is Debian still, this is a little bit more old school style, so let's try it. Now you can see DSL and this is super fast because it's made to run on a very old computer such as the 486 models. So I believe this is where I have my other little Apache server set up in this network. Two dot four I believe. Yep. So now I'll go to apps. Leave as tools. Oh, sorry, X shells. Mm, play around with it. I think I'll try the transparent one. Type in SSH. And now I'll try this address. Yes, I do. So now it's actually been added to the list. And now type in my password one more time for that machine. Boom, I'm now on the other host machine. As you can see, to actually log into that machine, I typed in SSH, my username, at, and then, of course, the actual IP address, enter. With everything with the keys certifying, okay, I want this. Type in yes, add the RSA to the list permanently, and now I'm in. So to prove that this is something totally different, type in DIR. And now, voila, you see a totally different set of download files. Exit. Close that connection. So I'll type in exit. Now I'm back to my regular desktop. DR again. Totally different set of files. And if I was to go to home directory, you'll see it's, a t it's not even, it's nothing there except for that events calendar. That's it. That's the only file on this hard drive or on this virtual desk. So now you're seeing how SSH works, I can go ahead and end this presentation as well.